What's up guys, this is Power Player Paul. This is a response video to Collecting with Corey's 900 subscriber contest video. First of all, I want to wish Corey congratulations on 900 subscribers. That is amazing, man. Uh, it won't be long before you get to 1,000, I'm sure. Alright, so, for the contest video, he wanted to know what your top three favorite handheld games were. Uh, because he's such a ma big fan of handheld gaming, I am too. I must admit that I didn't really get own my own console until the Nintendo DS handheld console until the DS. Uh, but my neighbor had the other ones that I grew up with, so I did grow up with Game Boy and everything as well, and Game Gear and all that. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the games. Number three uh, of my top favorite handhelds. It's kind of I'm kind of cheating with this one because it's actually two games, uh, and that is Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor one and two. I couldn't pick a favorite because both of them are incredible games. Uh, I love anything published by Atlas, and the Shin Megami Tensei series is amazing, and uh, or, or Persona series. Anyway, and this. Uh, game, I mean, it's just like the other Shin Megami Tensei's where there's uh, demon fusing or persona fusing, whichever uh, term you want to use, and uh, you can fuse them to make more powerful monsters, um, and in this one it kind of has a uh, tactical twist to it, where uh, some enemies can move faster so you can move more spaces, it's kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics or something like that, it's like on a grid and you position your characters where you want to fight them and uh... anyway and then some characters can fight from like two spaces away whereas some of them are just melee attackers and they have to be one space away anyway uh... but combine that with the Shin Megami Tensei formula and you have two incredible RPGs for the original D Nintendo DS now I know these came out they were re-released on the 3DS um, with some modifications I guess but um... which I probably will pick up um, sometime, but uh, these were excellent. So, number three spot goes to Devil Summoner 1 and 2. Alright, for my number two spot, this is a personal favorite of my girlfriend, I think, and this is a favorite for a lot of people, and uh, I mean, I grew up playing it. Um, I never played it on the original Super Nintendo when it actually came out. I have it now. But I, my first one was on the 64, but that is Mario Kart. I mean, you can't go wrong with Mario Kart. This is Mario Kart 7. Um, they, This one, I mean, I have the one for the original DS, but uh, there are so many, you know, you can play with more tracks with this one. Uh, you only need one, well, you, could, you only need one cart for that too, but you can play with friends with just one cartridge. Uh, and it's, I mean, it's Mario Kart. It's a bunch of fun. I mean, we've sunk so many hours waiting uh, out in like Pizza Hut, waiting for a pizza to be cooked, and like, hey, you want a quick game of Mario Kart while we're waiting? And there you go. Um, and then, of course, you can play online, uh, obviously. I mean, enough, enough said. All right, and number one, uh, this is uh, one of the, uh, this is the very first handheld game that I ever played, and uh, I have a, kind of a funny story behind this one. Um, and, uh, but my neighbor, he had the original Game Boy. I didn't at the time. Now I do. But, um, I've played this game in, in all of its iterations of since. But this is where it started for me. Tetris on the original Game Boy. Now I have the one on the NES, but I played this one first. And, um, not the Tangent version. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. The funny story is, I went with my neighbor and his mom and another friend to a theme park that's in Virginia called uh, Bush Gardens. And anyway, when we were going down there, you know, he decided to bring his Game Boy and, of course, Tetris. And uh, we played it all the time anyway, but we played it all the way uh, from home, up, you know, to the theme park, which was you know, about an hour and a half drive or something. But uh, anyway, I was playing, and we were trying to get the high scores and everything, and beat each other's scores, and 
next thing I know, the car lunges l left and then it, you know lurches right and then you know, back and forth, back and forth. Like I'm just holding on to the Game Boy console and it's just the car is just swerving. And I'm just like, what's going on? You know, I, you know, it was kind of a little scary. But uh, I kept playing. But I looked up for just a split second, and all I remember is a white car that was completely sideways on I-64. And I went right back to playing. I mean, there was a multi-car accident that happened in front of us. And it just had happened, and my neighbor's mom was swerving to avoid it, which, thank God, she avoided. But I went right back to playing Tetris. <laughs> Uh, and I got the high score, so, anyway, but that is, uh, one reason why Tetris is my number one pick for handheld gaming. Alright, thank you guys, and I want to thank Corey for this contest, it's a really awesome contest.